Hello everyone! Today we're going to be learning how to create a comparison table or chart in Canva. So let's get right on to it. Um, on our home page, we're going to go to the create a design button or you can also use the search bar, wh whichever you like. I'm going to go ahead and create a design here. Um, and I'm going to type in presentation because I'd like to use the dimensions of a presentation in today's design. So I'm going to choose this one, presentation, uh, 1920 by 1080 pixels. All right, here we are. So in case you'd like to use a template or look for some templates that you can modify, you can actually do that here on the side panel. Um, if you like, you can actually type in whatever templates you're looking for. So in this case, type in comparison table. Oh, I have one on the drop down. So let's try to see. When oh, here they are, they actually have a lot of templates for that. You can either choose to replace your current page or add it as a new page in case you're working on several um, charts. So in my case, I'm only going to design one, so I'm just going to replace the current page. And try to see each one of them. These are all great templates. Let's try to see the other ones. Nice. So all you have to do is just to simply choose one that you'd like to modify. I'd like to go for a simple one, so maybe I'd go for this one. And here we are. If you'd like to change your background color, you can do that. Uh, go ahead and select the page or click on the page and go to this color button right here to change your background color. Let's keep it white for now, but in case we change our mind, we can always change our background color. So you can input anything you want here. And we're going to try to move this um, all at once by highlighting everything and by dragging it to position. In case you'd like to change the color of your comparison table, you can click on a specific cell and choose a color from the color button here. And, and basically, you can do the same thing for every cell. And if you'd like to change the font, go ahead and do that. Click on the text. By the way, I think it's a group. Let's ungroup it. Delete this one. And just edit this one. Choose whatever tools you'd like to use from the toolbar above. You can change its font. You can change its size over here or by inputting numbers here or by dragging the uh, corner buttons here. You can also change your text's color. Change it to whatever color you want. And for the items right here, you can actually you can actually edit them however you want.
or yeah, maybe we could put it here. Level one, two, three, four, five. And then benefits. So maybe we could say one dollar per month. Then you have five dollars per month. Then you have ten dollars per month. Then you have the fifteen dollar per month and the sixteen no no twenty dollars per month. And you can actually list some items here like benefits, for example, why they should be your Patreon, so And there we already filled it, everything in. So now we're just actually going to edit the placement of these checks and X's. Uh, in case you'd like to use a different design, you can actually go to the element section and type in check or wrong, whatever you're looking for. So let's try to find something nice. So why don't we just go ahead and use this one? We can remove these and replace... Oh, sorry. And we are going to place that here. Just want to zoom in to see better. There. And then we're going to look for wrong or X. Well, we can actually choose to leave it be, but it would be better if we'd have an X mark right here. So let's look for one. Maybe we could just use this one. Let's zoom in to see better. I'd like it to be about the same size as this check mark, so that should be okay. All right. So basically, we're just going to copy that and paste that to, oh, make sure it's also aligned. Okay, we're going to delete the rest and basically just do the same thing over and over again. And this is it. This is our comparison table. 
Now, if you'd like to share this directly from Canva to other platforms, you can actually do that. Just click on the share button right here. Go to share on social or more. I suggest going to more to view more options. You can actually input whatever social media, website, or platforms you'd like. So for example, Pinterest, Instagram, you can actually type that there and it'll immediately appear. Or you can also just simply scroll down to see everything else uh, they have available. And if you'd like to download this as a file instead, you can also do that. Uh, still, you go to the share button, go to download, select your preferred file type, and check other download preferences. Select the number of pages or the pages you'd like to be included. And once that's done, click on download. So that's it for today. We hope you found today's video useful. Thank you so much for watching and you have a great day.